a brand new video. We are here at the Aviation Mega Store, Europe's biggest model aviation store. And, um, and yeah, we're just going to visit. Um, we are next to Skip Hall. We'll go in plane spot afterwards. But yeah, today we are visiting this ginormous shop. There's literally anything you want aviation related in here. So yeah, let's head inside. We are here at the Aviation Mega Store, the biggest aircraft model shop in Europe. Absolutely massive. I've, I've been here for like five, five minutes, barely. And I already want to buy the entire store. It's just absolutely amazing. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll do like a brief tour of the entire store, basically. Very brief. And then we'll get going. Um, so, to start off, you have over here the entrance with... So, you have loads of model planes on display to show you like... A good variety of the aircraft that they have then um, you come in to the left you've got a couple of one to five hundred scale aircraft so for example here we've got the United um, 737 Max 9 in the new livery which is all good uh, then you've got yeah uh, again a lot more one to five hundred scale aircraft uh, everywhere um, so like uh, Saudi Arabia you get a pretty good good range of it um, and more on the other side as well um, and then if you come that way, you've got, you get into the 1 to 200 section, um, uh, even more 1 to 500, it's just, you've got a couple on display here, a couple of planes on display, and then, so yeah, so they're, they're basically, it's basically divided into sections, so this is the 1 to 500 scale section, then if you come around, you'll have everything that's 1 to 200, everything that's like various scales, so like that's uh, 1 to 200, I think. Or something, or one to one to two hundred fifty, and then yeah. So that's all the one to two hundred section, and like the snap fit, for example, like Herpa snap fits and everything, um, and these ones as well. Um, so yeah, so very big, uh, and then here you've got a couple of, I believe it's one to four hundred here. So um, so yeah, so oh look, I've already found one that I quite like got the jets blue so yeah one to four hundred scale jet blue ac21 neo actually in you in the registration of the very first aircraft that made the transatlantic flight from new york to 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 london so yeah so there's there's a huge amount of models here um so you got like uh, i'm not sure what uh, manufacturer this is i'm pretty sure that's aviation 400 but then you also get like or even more aviation 400 aircraft um like yeah models i guess you've got um phoenix here uh you've got um you've got actually an entire row of just phoenix aircraft so that's amazing it's just absolutely massive um then right here you've got what will be the jc wings aircraft um then that way you've got even more um even more Phoenix aircraft and just a huge variety of the 1 to 400 scale aircraft. Um, so yeah, just absolutely massive. And I, they all like kind of like put into groups. So like for example here, they're all AC-20s, either NEOs or COs. And then here you'll have uh, up top the AC-50s and then at the bottom you'll get, uh, these are the, um, uh, the MD-11s and then you'll get the Tupelo and everything. So yeah, so pretty big amount of it, um, and it, it goes on for like this, all of this is just models. So you've got NG models here. You've got even more NG models that are here. Um, then here you get to the Gemini jets section, which goes on all the way over there. All this is just Gemini jets aircraft. Um, then you've got other like smaller manufacturers. Then you get into the one to two hundred section. So the, the, the big boxes and everything and um, so yeah even more one to 200 sections and then this is where the warehouse is where they keep all the store like all the um non um basically the rest everything that's not in the shop they'll keep it over there so i'm not going to go that way really um so that is like the um you've got like kind of like an entire section de designated for models and then you've got an entire other section so at the entrance so we're back at the entrance here 
as you can see and then so once you go out the entrance to the left you'll get like the models and then to the right you'll get a bit of the rest so you'll get like magazines and like like um stuff uh, animals posters and everything um so this section is a lot is personally not one that i like i prefer like the models but i'll give it like a quick look but like yeah, you'll get like books and everything like a book on the boeing 737 max 8 um you'll get like um like yeah just a bunch of books you'll even get there's puzzles there those are puzzles so yeah it's just you, you, you can get anything that's anything that you want that's aviation related you'll find it in this store and you've got yeah like varieties of books like on on different airlines and everything uh and yeah and just absolutely massive this shop is like it's you could literally spend hours and hours here you even oh you, you do have a couple of more models but i think these are more of like the um build it yourself and paint it yourself kind of models um but yeah and there's like it just goes on and on and on and on and on it's just absolutely massive you do get a couple of cupboards so got a couple of cupboards there with military aircraft whether it's um i think that's like an f-14 tomcat uh, and then you also get like some of the spitfires and everything um we got uh i don't know what that is we, well we got them First ever fighter jet aircraft right here, the German one. I, I, you can, I, I can't zoom. But yeah, that one, first ever um, fighter jet. That was a German aircraft during the Second World War. And yeah, and there's just like rows and rows and rows and rows of aircraft. That it just, it goes on and on and on. But there's something I forgot to show you on the model section. So we'll go back to the model section and yeah, and we'll, we'll leave this section because I'm not a big fan of that section. It's... It's, even though it's still good, it's not, like, great, because I'm obviously, like, all about the models. Um, ooh, that's, that, that's, uh, that's interesting, though. Uh, and then you get, so, don't know what that is, but you get stuff like that, and it's just, it just goes on and on, like, it's absolutely massive. Um, and yeah, puzzles and everything, and it just goes on. So yeah, and so um, I want to show you something that they have uh, towards the model section, uh, which is uh, all the way on the other side. And so I'll switch camera for this one, but they have an entire model airport. Um, and so they're all, I believe, one to 500 scale, but like they go from like some of the, like, I, I think it's mostly old here, because like if you've got like a fly BMI over here, A330, you got like, well, they got Virgin Atlantic A380, which never existed, but look like uh, that that's an old livery. Got an Emirates A330 over there, Lufthansa in the old livery, Delta in the old livery. Got um, Edelweiss here, old livery again. Um, more fly BMIs and everything. And yeah, and it's just like, it's a huge model airport. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's model airport of Amsterdam. I think they tried to do, but I'm really not sure. Ooh, and look. Over there, here, you even have the fire training aircraft. So they used a Singapore Airlines 747-400. But yeah, oh look, TNT BAE 146. I used to have that aircraft, uh, but I, I sold it. Um, and yeah, and that's basically like um, the Aviation Mega Store. You can literally find like any model I think you're looking for. You can find it. Like, look, they've got one of the newer released of the... Newer release of the uh, British Airways BAE one four uh, uh, BA Better World A three twenty Neo, um, which was released like a couple of months ago, I believe. Uh, they even got like a little bit older releases, so the Mexicana A three eighteen, which I believe was released in twenty twenty one, and yeah, and then just like the the um, the um, like it's just unlimited. You have like it's it goes on and on, and any aircraft I think you're looking for, you'll find it in this model store because they they have like from like old releases to the newer ones and it's just absolutely massive so yeah so um so so yeah so that's the aviation mega store absolutely massive i highly recommend it i'll put the link down below to their website uh, make sure if you're ever at amsterdam to um pass by it's like eight minute drive or like to, i'd say like max 15 minute drive to um um 
to the aircraft to the aviation mega store from the airport but yeah it's like 10 minute drive from the airport um so really 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 short and it's just like if, if you ever like go by and if you ever go in plane spotting at amsterdam whatever you could just stop by here and just look around and the people are extremely nice as well like you could just go up to them and talk for hours about them about anything aviation related because they have this shop they will obviously be interesting about what you're saying um so yes so now i'm going to do my shopping let's say i'll, I'll i've got a list of the aircraft that i need for my bordeaux um um for my bordeaux model airport uh, and yeah i'll just go around try to find them um, uh, stuff that is interesting stuff that's on my list and stuff that i might need for my model airport um so yeah so um uh, there will be, um, at the end of this video, the unboxing of all the models that I got. Um, so stay tuned uh, for like, so yeah, so basically just wait a little bit. The video is not over. There is the unboxing coming. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to do my shopping. So, um, so uh, see you later. So here we are after about, um, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour at this, at this shop. Um, aviation Mega Store. I've got all my planes in here, there are about 7 I think, plus GSE, so got lots to unbox, so let's enter the unboxing. Right, so here we are, we are back at home, we are now going to proceed with the absolute ginormous unboxing of all of the aircraft that I got from the Aviation Megastore. Um, so there are, I believe, 7 aircraft or 6 aircraft in here, plus some GSE. So yeah, so without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. So we are going to start off with, we have the Air Car well it's Air Caribbeas basically, but it's like it's Air Caraibe because it's French, um, Airbus A330-300, so this is a um, very important model for my um, Bordeaux collection, um, for my Bordeaux um, um, airport, sorry, because um, as it is a pretty big um, French airport, um, we want people to, like, especially French people to go to, like, um, our exterior territories so like everything in the caribbeas and and all that so that aircraft is going to operate this route then moving on we have the eva air boeing 777-300 er uh, i didn't want to go for the 787-10 but they didn't have it and i just love the eva air livery so i just had to get one of these then continuing on um we'll go for this one we have the lufthansa uh, CRJ-900, so uh, my first regional jet, so I'm um, really good, I, I did want a regional jet, so that's just perfect. Then moving on, obviously, Aviation Megastore in Amsterdam, you have to buy a KLM aircraft, so I got the KLM 737-700, um, um, yeah, just absolutely beautiful model, so, yeah. Uh, then we have the... China Airlines A350-900. Now, uh, at the start, I did want to go for the um, Air China A330, um, but I I already got an A330, and I don't have any A350-900, any A350 uh, in general that can operate to the air to the airport. So I decided to go for still a Chinese airline or like Asian airline, but a different type of aircraft. So I got the um, China Airlines A350-900. Then we have the Beluga XL. Now, um, this is a bit of a weird one. So basically, I had a budget that I had to spend. And um, obviously, so my, my dad just said, your, your airport is based in Bordeaux. It has to have an Airbus factory. And so he gifted me the Beluga XL to operate to the airports and to uh, get parts and everything. So very expensive model. And, but so I'm, I'm very happy that, that he gifted it to me. Um, so yeah, so we have that one. Then, um, uh, last aircraft, we have the Air France Airbus A320-200, the regular, no, um, it's not a Neo, well, they don't have Neo, as a, actually. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I did want an A350, um, an, uh, an Air France, another Air France aircraft. Um, the A320 is, um, like, it, it got released a couple of months ago and I, as soon as i saw it, i was like "Ooh, i need to get that one i did want to get air france long haul but the only one they had was an ac30 and since i already got an ac30 here i decided not to get one uh, and i've got an entire storyline for my bordeaux international airport so that's okay but yeah so second airbus in my collection 
And then last but not least, we have some buses because um, I don't have any buses. I only have one bus and it is at scale 1 to 400, uh, 1 to 500, sorry. So yeah, so we got a couple of buses, as you can see. Um, they're generic with the, so they're Swiss ports. And so I just know that Swiss port uh, kind of is a big thing um, in like the transport um, industry of aviation. So yeah, so um, so I'm sorry going to uh, take all of the models out of the box. So we are going to take them out uh, in the same order that I took them out of the box. So we are going to start off with the Air, Air Caraibe AC30-300. Uh, th this aircraft is absolutely amazing. Um, uh, I, I, I sometimes see it fly over my head. I don't know if they still operate actually, the AC30. But I did want a, um, a like, um, a, um, a French long haul aircraft for like from like um the um like the other territories than the actual like french territory and here is the model absolutely beautiful i love the blue color on it it's just absolutely beautiful um so yeah so just absolutely amazing the paint job is just incredible um so this aircraft will be um parked at the air france terminal um, so same as, um, same as Air France and, um, uh, because obviously it's like, they kind of have an alliance with Air France, I kind of imagine, like in my fictional airport, they have an alliance with, um, with, uh, with Air France, so they park at their terminal. Then moving on, we're going to go with the Eva Air 777-300ER. So opening it up, there we go. Absolutely beautiful livery, the Eva Air. I absolutely love the livery. There we go, we are in the box. And here we are. So absolutely beautiful model, this aircraft. I did want to get the 787-10, as I said, because this is my third 777-300ER, and I don't have any 787-10s, and I don't know how long they are, so I don't have like a, a, comparison, a comparison to the 787-9. But it's still an absolutely beautiful model. Um, yeah, no, nothing more to add really. Just beautiful model. Um, so we're going to put it down here. Move all this over here. There we go. And then we're going to move on with the Lufthansa CRJ900. Probably like the smallest aircraft that I'll ever get in my collection. But yeah, I wanted a regional aircraft. I didn't find any... Um, any hops or whatever, but uh, I found this, I was like, oh, I've got to get that one. And I love aircraft in, like, the tea towel, basically. And here it is, very, very small, but I'm used to small models because I used to collect one to 500. But yeah, here it is, absolutely amazing. Um, Yeah, just nothing to say, the the, the mold is great, The it's just so, so beautiful. Then, KLM 737-700. So I went today, so today I went to the Aviation Megastore and I went plane spotting at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport and I actually saw this aircraft, this actual aircraft take off. So yeah, I just thought that would be a nice thing to add. I'll put a little clip of it here. So um, here it is, absolutely beautiful model. The 737-700 is actually really, really short compared to the 800. Like the 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 the, the length difference is actually like visible. That's what I meant to say. Um, like compared to the 737, uh, 800 and 900, you can't really see the difference. Whereas the 800, the 700 and 800, you can really see it. But yeah, absolutely beautiful model. Um, I did prefer, I, I, I would have preferred a E-190, but they didn't have it, and I just, you have to buy a KLM aircraft at, um, Amsterdam. Um, so yeah, so I got the, the KLM, uh, 737-700. Absolutely beautiful model. Then, moving on to the China Airlines A350-900. So, first A350-900 in my collection. Um... I would like to say it's my first A350 in my collection because I do have the British Airways A350-1000 but I just never use it. So um, 
but yeah, but it's still like I still count it in my collection. The bridge showers. But yeah, here it is. Absolutely beautiful model. The 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 um, usually Asian airlines have uh they they have a gift to 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 make these beautiful aircraft like they're they're so talented at making liveries, and like every time they make it, it's just so beautiful. And yeah, and so that one is just another one of them. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, nothing really more to add. Um, so yeah, just beautiful aircraft. Then moving along. We have the Beluga XL. Um, so I believe it's an A330-300 Beluga. I believe that's what the name is. Um, now the thing with this, however, that it comes in a polystyrene box. And I am always terrified of polystyrene because like, I, it, it's so easy to break the model inside. So I did already take them out, but like, I, it still terrifies me. Oh, there we go. That was actually easy. And here it is, absolutely ginormous. Um, so unfortunately, uh, unlike the A350, uh, A, the Beluga uh, one to 500 that I had, this one doesn't open, I don't believe. And I don't really want to try to open it. Um, but yeah, absolutely ginormous thing, absolutely beautiful model. Obviously, I already got um, the one to 500 version. So, so putting that off to the side. Um, then we are going to move on to the last aircraft, which is the... Uh, Airbus A320, uh, Air France Airbus A320. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's in the new um, Crevette livery. So yeah, they, they, they got a new livery, like uh, I'd like to say a uh, couple of years ago, I'd say like one or two years ago. Um, and yeah, and so it is fitted with this new livery. And here it is, absolutely beautiful model. Um, nothing really much to say. Um, I, I did have multiple choice of Air France short haul aircraft at the Aviation Megastore. I had the a320 with the sharklets i had the a320 uh without the like with them um well i don't really know how to say it, but like without these like the ones that are just like triangular kind of and i had an a321 um and um i didn't want to i didn't want to get an a321 um, because um like i don't really see much air france a321 operate currently i did i didn't want to get the air france a320 uh with the um triangular stuff because uh, that was just it was a bit too basic so i went for this one like uh, and yeah I, I i just i just thought it would look a lot more amazing and it is a lot more amazing than any other aircraft i think um so yeah so absolutely beautiful aircraft put it off to the side there and then we're going to move to the last item of this um unboxing which are the buses so i'm only going to take out one because they're all all four of them are identical. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So these buses are extremely well detailed. Uh, so it's, it might be hard to do a review on it, but like they've got like windows that you can see through. Uh, then they even got like the, I don't know if you can see, but they even got the small like rear view mirrors here. So it's kind of hard to focus because the thing is so small. Um, but yeah, so. We got buses, that way it will make the, the entire airport look a lot more realistic. And yeah, and that does conclude this um, unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed it. I do apologise for the length of the video. Um, it is quite long, but I did want to fit um, everything in the same video. So like the um, the um, tour of the Aviation Megastore and the unboxing of the planes that I bought at the Aviation Megastore. Um... Uh, but yeah, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, and yeah, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.